Hello guys, how are you? Hope so you are fine. In this video, we will show you the top 10 things you need to know about QAnon. Let's start the video. Number 10. QAnon serves the Trump presidency. Is there a dark conspiracy to unseat the president of the United States? QAnon supporters say yes. Q, an anonymous, high-ranking government official, is sharing insider information with them. Q alleges that President Trump is secretly battling a powerful group of Democratic politicians, liberal celebrities, and the deep state. The QAnon theory suggests that Mr. Trump was preceded by criminal presidents, Democrat and Republican alike. These corrupt leaders were affiliated with various conspiracies, deep state intelligence operations, pedophile rings, and child sex trafficking. To end this reign of corruption, the military convinced Trump to run for president. He and fellow patriots, the White Hats, would secretly work to take the US back from the bad guys, the Black Hats. But the world is allegedly overrun with satanic elites led by Hillary Clinton and the deep state. High-ranking Democrats, along with Hollywood stars, technology companies, and the mainstream media, are responsible for the evil plot to overthrow the rightful president. Number 9. QAnon is like a game. Joseph Ueschinski, a frequent contributor to left-wing media sites such as The Washington Post, owned by Amazon's Jeff Bezos, studies fringe beliefs. He says, it's more of a cult than other conspiracy theories. QAnon is not just an idea, it's an ongoing thing that people can sort of get into and follow along with that keeps them entertained. The Q forum moderators, bakers, post clues for their followers. The cryptic hints, dubbed breadcrumbs, describe how President Trump is engaged in a battle of good, him, versus evil, the CIA, top Democrats, Hollywood liberals. When breadcrumbs appear on message boards or in social media, Q followers, which number into the tens of millions, get busy. They look for signs that Trump is referencing the clues via tweets. They believe that the president signals his support with Q-shaped hand gestures during public appearances. They spread the clues with hashtags and begin speculating about their meaning. Number 8. QAnon has a language of its own. Q followers are sustained by the idea that deep state traitors are plotting a coup, but that Trump is secretly winning the war against evil. Hashtags like hashtag winning, hashtag so much winning, and even hashtag tired of winning abound. A quick Twitter search of hash wwg one ga which stands for, where we go one, we go all, reveals thousands of tweets every day. Other Q-friendly hashtags include hashtag drain the deep state, hashtag stop the coup, hashtag calm before the storm, and hashtag take America back. Number 7. The president appears to be playing along. President Trump pushes a lot of conspiracy theories to his 70 million Twitter followers. With these tweets, he tries to reshape political narratives in his favor. And every time he, wittingly or unwittingly, retweets Q content, QAnon supporters are rewarded. They receive the affirmation they crave. In January 2020, for example, Mr. Trump retweeted more than 20 QAnon and hash wwg one ga messages on a single day. This sparked renewed hope that the hashtag Great Awakening is approaching. Qs believe this hashtag restart will result in mass arrests of the president's enemies, who will be hauled off to Guantanamo Bay. Number 6. QAnon followers include prominent Republicans. The QAnon message is no longer hiding in the fringes of the internet. It's showing up in political campaigns. It's evident at rallies. Followers of the conspiracy theory declare themselves patriots. Actress Roseanne Barr, baseball's Kurt Schilling, and Fox News host Sean Hannity have promoted QAnon content. Donald Trump Jr., RNC chairwoman Ronna McDaniel, and Congressman Jim Jordan have followers with QAnon profiles. Many of these followers are, in turn, followed by President Trump. One QAnon promoter, for example, tweeted that an impeachment witness had bad-mouthed America. QAnon retweeted it. Then John Posobiec, a conservative political activist retweeted it. That led Don Jr. to post it. Number 5. And some QAnon fans are hardcore fringe conspiracists. 
more than 23,000 of President Trump's Twitter followers mention QAnon in their profiles. Trump rally attendees sport QAnon signs, apparel, even tattoos. Most are everyday Trump fans who have latched on to QAnon's partisan energy. QAnon confirms, and feeds, their suspicions about political corruption. They are emboldened by the, insider, information Q delivers. But some followers have gone off the deep end. In 2019, the FBI warned that QAnon may present a domestic terrorism threat. This, of course, means nothing to supporters of the Q theories, as the FBI is implicated as part of the deep state. The Bureau cited concerns about violence motivated by fringe political conspiracy theories. Unstable individuals could be heavily influenced by QAnon's cult-like beliefs. Although conspiracy-driven crime and violence is not a new phenomenon, the FBI's bulletin said, Today's information environment has changed the way conspiracy theories develop, spread, and evolve. Number 4. QAnon is like a religion. Like California's Councilwoman Patterson, see item 6, many QAnon devotees believe they're doing God's work. The Q map, prayer wall, is where supporters pray to God for the downfall of their political foes. In June 2019, one anonymous follower posted, You can trust Q and POTUS. The Lord is in control. Who are we to question His will? Have faith. Trust the plan. WWG1WGA. Amen. QAnon believes Trump is the hashtag chosen POTUS. They say he was sent by God to restore hashtag patriotism, hashtag army of God, hashtag evangelical, and even hashtag new Jesus are common hashtags on QAnon posts. Number 3. QAnon believes Democrats are eating children. Before QAnon, there was 2016's Pizzagate. It alleged that the Clintons and their associates were running a child sex ring in the basement of a DC pizza parlor. That particular restaurant doesn't actually have a basement. QAnon says that Trump was chosen to end the pedophilia. In February 2020, Trump retweeted an account that promoted a democratic sex trafficking hoax. I've been retweeted by the President of the United States, President Trump, said at BMBV 12. Tell me again, how he doesn't care about us. Number 2. QAnon touts conspiracies within the conspiracy. The overarching QAnon theory is not backed by tangible proof. So, in their efforts to defend the idea of an alleged coup attempt, supporters have created or promoted dozens of underlying theories. QMAP and Twitter boast thousands of news stories, such as, jurist Alan Dershowitz says he has proof that George Soros ordered Obama to investigate Trump. John F. Kennedy Jr. is still alive and will be Trump's running mate in 2020. Bill Gates is behind the coronavirus outbreak. The deep state tried to shoot down Air Force One as Trump traveled to North Korea. Even the president's linguistic errors are explained, misspellings in Q posts and POTUS tweets are intentional and important markers. Number 1. Robert Mueller was working for Trump. QAnon says Trump was aware of the Democrat-controlled, deep state attempts at a coup. They said that Trump was quietly working with secret ally Robert Mueller. They used the Russia investigation as a cover while working to expose and defeat the deep state. They believe that Trump has thousands of sealed federal indictments that will result in mass arrests. Obama, Clinton, and other traitors will be swept up and hauled off to Guantanamo Bay. Hashtag sealed indictments on Twitter is just one way to track the alleged indictments. Is President Trump intentionally fueling QAnon's conspiracy theory? Followers believe so. This chosen president is secretly communicating with them as he bravely fights corruption. There can be no denying it, 2020 is going to be an interesting election year. All this is for today's video. Hope so, you like this video. Please press the subscribe button for more videos. Thank you.